One evening, Boris was taking a brake van to the works. The brake van's brakes weren't working properly, and they needed new ones. Excuse me, sir, but there aren't many brake vents in the yards. Is there any around that we could borrow for a little while? Well, there is one you could borrow. It's in the sidings. You can use that one till this one is finished. Ah, great. Thank you, sir. And so Boris went to go get the brake van. When Boris went into the sidings, he heard a familiar voice. Ah,、oh, great! It's you. Boris looked around to see who the voice belonged to. He soon found out. You! I thought you'd been scrapped. Well, I've been here for about a year. I was on a train for the scrapyard, but the workmen thought it would be a great idea to repair me, and so a black Great Western Pania brought me here. But while I was being repaired. I could only think about that horrible crash that happened on the hill. Well, that was an accident. Anyway, you're coming with me to the yards, whether you like it or not. But the brake van had other ideas, and he whispered to his guard. When Boris was soon coupled up, his driver pulled the lever. But Boris was going very, very slowly. He was getting annoyed. Do you want me to squash you again? But the brake van didn't care. Boris soon gave up. Yellow Dash was called to take the brake van to the yards. And to Boris's surprise, he saw that he was moving quite fluently. And it made him very cross. The next day, Boris was ordered to take three trucks of sand to the transfer yards. When he was coupled up to the brake van, he set off. But he was moving at a very slow pace. Er, come on," he groaned. But the spiteful brake van didn't care. When they were about to just leave the yards, they stopped. Then Boris's fireman went to go speak to the guard, but the guard found nothing wrong with him. But as they were on their way, their journey was delayed after another. You stupid brake van! Ha! Was all the brake van could say. Boris arrived at the transfer yards very late. The yard manager wasn't happy. The engine who was supposed to take the sand had left about an hour ago. But sir, it wasn't my fault. That brake van kept holding me back. No excuses, Boris. A guard would be that stupid to put the brakes on for fun. I will have to report this to Mr. Tycoon. Please shunt those trucks in the siding. So Boris did.
That night, Boris told Steve, Alfred, and Yellow Dash about the van. Sounds like that van can get tricky. Did you tell Mr. Tycoon your side of the story? I did, but he didn't believe me. It's my fault that he's causing this to me. If I haven't put so much pressure on him after the hill, he won't have a rivalry towards me. It was only an accident, Boris. If he was doing that stuff to me, I'd teach him a lesson like the time he was starting to mess with you. Boris smiled at Steve. He then had an idea put into his funnel. The next day, Boris shunted some trucks towards the brake van, ready for the morning goods train. As Boris was chuffing down the line, he then felt the van breaking. This is when he put his plan into action. The van skidded along the rails, with his brakes on. Guard! Put the brakes off! Please! The guard tried to pull the lever, but it was jammed on tightly. As they came into the yards, the brake van's wheels were aching. You lousy tank engine! My wheels could have melted! Well that's what you get for delaying my sand train yesterday, and for giving me the punishment instead of you! A workman looked over the handle, and after that, he fixed it by putting the lever back in the place. Oh, my wheels! sighed the brake van. And after that, Boris took the brake van back to the yards. Later that day, as Boris was shunting some empty trucks, the van said in a quiet, timid voice, I'm sorry. Boris turned his eyes towards the spiteful brake van. I'm sorry for holding a grunge against you. And I'm sorry for delaying your goods train yesterday. Thank you. And I'm sorry for dragging you along behind my goods train this morning. That's alright. You're to prove me a lesson about what comes around goes around. And I'm sorry to you too, Mr. Guard, for forcing the brakes on so Boris could get the blame. That's alright. But you deserve the punishment. And so Boris and the spiteful brake van exchanged peace working happily together. All trains ran on time, and when it was time for the van to return back to the works, they became good friends. <laughs>